Grape pickers are hard at work in the vineyards across the Okanagan as harvest is in full swing. At Cedar Creek Estate Winery, a team of pickers from Mexico pride themselves on being the fastest crew in the valley. Uh, picking is very physically difficult. Uh, it's really hard on their backs. They want to go fast because they want to make the maximum amount of money you know, per hour as it were. And generally speaking, we usually try to get off 30 to 40 bins. And that fills up about an eight hour day. The job may be difficult, but Trapnell says this crew is made up of the hardest working individuals he's ever come across. It's so very difficult to get people to work in the agricultural industry. Traditionally, it's not a high paying job. It's very repetitive. So to, to try to find um, local people to work is very difficult with the Mexican crew. Once you establish your crew and once they all, we all understand and, and respect each other, then it's just fabulous. It becomes this amazing team. Many on this crew have been returning to work at Cedar Creek for the last six years. And once they go home, they're eager to come back. <laughs> go to Mexico is one day in the house for the family, the, the presents for family. Yeah, later go for the city of Oaxaca, yes, for the check the papers or come back next year. <laughs> from the vines to the crush pad, the harvest crew takes over once the grapes are brought in. Our job from there is to handle the fruit as gently as possible, uh, ferment, uh, in this case Pinot Noir, fermenting on the skins, and then get it into barrel and age it in barrel until it's ready for bottling. Despite the cool start to the summer, those in the wine industry are feeling pretty positive that this vintage will be a great one. We had a fantastic July. Uh, a great August and then September is, uh, is one of the best ever uh, so it really saved the harvest you know and, and it's the back end that counts more than anything else so to have the September that we had and, and rain is really not ideal for, for grapes so we haven't had any rain since basically August 1st so uh, we're in a really good position for this harvest very excited for the quality. Brooker says the wines to look out for from the 2012 vintage will be Pinot Noirs and Merlot, but we'll have to wait because they won't be released until sometime in late 2014. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.